Can, can, can you see them? Can you see the picture of the Energy Academy? No? Maybe we can just turn around and yeah. put it on like projector, like this. I think that that'll, that'll work. Maybe this works. Yeah. Well, it might be working. We have to have, to have it a little like this. <coughs> yeah, you can see the Energy Academy building, where we have built a brand new house with the solar panels on, on the roof, mm -hmm. and it, 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 it is the meeting house of a lot of people. I mean, many of the Japanese visitors will come and visit us at the Energy Academy. It, it's, it's a big building, and, and we can make workshops and, 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 and do things there, mm -hmm. which are very interesting. And it, it helps us a lot to have this Energy Meeting House. Uh, you know, academy in the old Greek way means the, the university of the street. Mm -hmm. So academia is a place where two people meet and exchange experiences. So this is actually you know, the basic meaning of, 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 a, of a, an academy. Mm -hmm. uh, some people think that a, academy is, is academia in, in universities, but, but it's also very pragmatic and very, very practical. Yeah, and the next, um, the next picture down here is... Um, it's uh, also the energy can be seen from the outside. You can see this, these uh, are solar panels. Actually, we have been discussing also the solar panels is, is what we call roof integrated systems. Mm -hmm. So the roof integration means that we have asked the architect to, to help us to make nice solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, because sometimes solar panels are not nice. They, they are just kind of added on something and you have these big panels sitting on roofs and sitting on them and they actually spoil the architecture. Because it's not it's not meant to be there, but it's put it's, it's installed afterwards, which gives kind of a, the wrong impression of the building and the intention of solar panels. Because the intention is good, <laughs> but it turns out to be ugly. <laughs> and uh, and this this is actually we have won a prize uh, with this an architecture prize uh, because the the installation of the solar panel is is, is is interesting and good. Yeah, and what have what else have you seen on Samsung? Hi. This is me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I work. I work, and I, sp I explain what's what's going on here uh, from, from the solar panel. This is a district heating. Uh, wind? No, it's ah, it's no, district heating, district yes. heating with solar panels. Okay. And what I'm doing here is I'm I'm showing people uh, how it works. There's kind of an operation. There's a technology room there, and you can operate the solar panels and the district district heating. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, it's one of the large scale installations, 2,500 square meters, which is quite large. It has a capacity of 1.6 megawatt. So, so it produces a lot of hot water when the sun is shining. So we have to we have to control this and send it to the right places, and we actually pipe it all around to the houses, and and we sell it to farmers who need to dry their stock. It can be onions or other things also. And there's more. These are the solar panels. Uh, we can see these solar panels uh, as they work down there. I think you have to help me a little bit to get down there. Is this solar hot water? Um, yeah, it, it's it's solar hot water, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So the solar hot water is is um, is um, is what we we use mostly. We have solar PV also for electricity, mm -hmm. but this is this is uh, usually people think it's too expensive mm -hmm. because the production of one kilowatt hour from a solar PV photovoltaic yeah. is is more expensive than yeah. from the wind power, yeah. and because we have a lot of wind, mm -hmm. the wind wind yeah. power is is a choice mm -hmm. uh, most of the time. But it can be convenient to have solar po yeah. photovoltaic in some yes. places. Um, this is straw. Um, we have we have the straw um, as 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 a, as a fuel for the for the project. The straw is 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 there already. It's lying on the field. Of course, some of it has to be ploughed into the field again to kind of uh, make a rich soil. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good for the for the soil to have the, have the straw, but. We buy the, the, su the surplus production of it and use it to feed the boiler mm -hmm. and heat the houses with it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's considered to be CO2 or carbon neutral mm -hmm. because it absorbs the same amount of, of CO2 when it's growing mm -hmm. as released when we burn it. Mm -hmm. So it's not CO2 free, but it's CO2 neutral. Mm -hmm. It doesn't add on more CO2 to the environment. Uh, is, is that uh, become uh, additional income for farmers? Yes. That's exactly. Good. That's good. Yeah, they like that. <laughs> they like to make money, the farmers. I don't know why, but uh, 
<laughs> they smile and clap their hands every time we buy some straw from them because they couldn't sell it before. Mm -hmm. So instead of importing oil, we are now buying the energy from, from the next door farmer, mm -hmm. which is that, that is, I mean, that's a nice thing. Yeah. Uh, and it, it stops a lot of import also, and it, 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 it saves us a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So you could say there's a lot of good arguments to do this. Um, sometimes we farmers say that we cannot take away all the biomass from the farms because they, they, they need some of it. So what we do is we pay back or we give back the ashes from the burning. Mm -hmm. And it still contains kalium and phosphorus, mm -hmm. which are good minerals for the soil. Mm -hmm. So they can, they can have it back. We just mm -hmm. have it for a little while and then <laughs> <laughs> they can have it back again on the fields when we don't use it anymore. And there's, I mean, there's also some private installations like furnaces for private houses. Oh, yes. And we try to involve citizens also in the private houses so they will change their attitude towards um, energy, energy production. So they actually, they are part of the process. Mm -hmm. um, and this, this new technology can be combined with old technology so we don't mm -hmm. kind of change the houses completely mm -hmm. because people like a fireplace. Mm -hmm. um, but if they have a fireplace, we can make it an efficient fireplace and just instead of just having a, an open fire where the, 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 the heat is, is uh, exhausted out through the chimney, but we can abs absorb it in, in, a, in a mass, mm -hmm. uh, stone mass, and then keep it there for a while. This is a this is a, um, an example. You, you saw the wood pellet uh, and and the biomass. Th this is a remains from from rapes, rape seed or canola. Mm -hmm. I think it's called canola in, in, in America or other places. We call it rape seed. Uh, which is a s yellow flowered uh, mm -hmm. seed um, and little little black seed and about 30% of the weight is oil mm -hmm. and when we press it this is the cake from the press mm -hmm. uh, the pressed material and this is very good protein protein uh, food for cows and, mm -hmm. and, and pigs mm -hmm. so when we press the oil out of it we can use this for for food mm -hmm. and the oil can be used for uh, for fuel mm -hmm. so we actually some farmers they use it to drive it their tractors or their cars so that's also a carbon neutral uh, fuel for, um, for, for transportation. And then of course we have the wind turbines. You saw the windmills? Mm -hmm. They're very nice windmills. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good, good turbines and, and very, very reliable. Um, they're, they're modern turbines. Mm -hmm. um, uh, these ones are from a, an old company called uh, Bonus. Today uh, they are bought by Siemens, the German yeah. company, but it could be Vestas, it could be other, comp uh, other turbines also. Um, and they produce a lot of energy, um, these turbines. Yeah. And the next, oh, this is this is a teacher. We have a teacher, teacher. on the school. Uh, he, he's teaching uh, first and second and third grade school children, mm -hmm. like very small. <laughs> and they like to make wind turbines, so the, so they make their own little wind turbines and test it. And actually, they can make a little radio play or. <laughs> They can get electrified also, <laughs> so they can feel that wind power is powerful. And, 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 and they can, but but the, the experience is good that they can make something spin. Yes. And this is this is a good start, mm -hmm. like like a positive uh, introduction to to um, to life. Yes. He yeah. is very famous in Samsung. Yeah. yeah. This guy, this guy, he is a, he's he's also a teacher, but a retired teacher, and he he's he's been famous also. He's been in National Geographic, the magazine. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's been quoted for saying that it's so much better to have my money on the roof than in the bank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he invested in a very big solar panel uh, on the roof, um, uh, quite expensive actually, I'd, I'd say maybe 10,000 American dollars or maybe 12, 13,000 uh, all included. So that's quite a big investment for a retired person. Mm -hmm. but, it's, but, it, but it serves him good and, it, and he's one of the most efficient energy consumers of everybody on Samsung. Okay. Because he has a meter inside his house, mm -hmm. and in, on this meter he, he sees if he is a net producer mm -hmm. or a net consumer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's a sunny day, he will be exporting yeah. electricity out of the house, and he is happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now selling electricity, and my meter is running backwards. Mm -hmm. So electricity meter, we, we have net oh, metering, oh. so we can, it can run backwards. So he's paid the same as he is paying for the electricity when he buys it. And if it's a cloudy day and he's not producing so much, he's very conscious about electricity. He switches <laughs> off light <laughs> and he doesn't put on the boiler and, and he doesn't do anything. So his poor wife is sitting there in the dark and uh, having a miserable time. But he's, he's then consuming very little per year, which is really good. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome.
So we enjoyed the stories of Samsung very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. えー、と,とりあえず、えー、と時間が、えー、来ましたので今日は、えー、これで終わりにさせていただきたいんですけれども、えー、このあと「Do you go to、uh, tomorrow, tomorrow to 岩井島エラン、えーと」環境エネルギー政策研究所が協力して、えー、山口県亀崎町の、えー、岩井島で 100% 自然エネルギーを進めているプロジェクトがありまして。えー、それに、えー、明日ソ連が、えー、現地に行って、えー、いろいろと人現地の人たちや、えー、支援者の方たちといろいろとコミュニケーションをするということで、えー、ちょっと岩島のプロジェクトのご紹介に、はい、あともうあの鎌中ひとみ監督の「あのミツバチとミツバチのハートと地球の回転」という映画でご存知の方も多い,多いと思うんですが。あのあの岩,岩井島にあのゾーレンを連れして行くことになっていますでゾあの岩井島は30年ほど30年間ほどその原発に戦ってきた平均年齢がもう79歳というあの小さなハートの形をした島なんですけどもいろいろとご紹介をしていそこをあの、まあ、10年これから10年未満で100自然エネルギー 100% にしようといったプロジェクトが。あの今あの指導していますこれがちょっとパンフレットなんですけども後ほどあの ICEP のウェブサイトでも改めてあのご紹介をさせていただきますのでぜひチェックしてみてください。So thank you very much today and good luck for further progress in Samsung. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for seeing me. It's been a pleasure to be in your studio. I like this TV channel. I hope that、uh, you'll have more good programs in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. では今日はこの辺でありがとうございました。